सो हेलो गाइज एंड वेलकम टू द अनादर वीडियो ऑफ टी सी एस एन क्यू टी डी एस ए कोडिंग राउंड जस्ट इन केस इफ यू आर नॉट अवेयर वी हैव ऑलरेडी स्टार्टेड विथ टी सी एस एन क्यू टी डी एस ए राउंड क्वेश्चन प्लीज चेक द डिस्क्रिप्शन टू गेट द लिंक ऑफ होल प्ले लिस्ट सो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व वन मोर क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम टी सी एस एन क्यू टी प्रीवियस ईयर सो लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड वट डज द क्वेश्चन सेज एंड इंटरनेशनल राउंड टेबल कॉन्फ्रेंस इज गोइंग टू बी हेल्ड इन इंडिया ओके The president from all over the world, representing their respective countries, will be attending the conference. Which means, in India, there will be a round table conference is going on, and of different countries. Let's suppose USA, and Russia, China. So whatever the countries are there, all of their presidents are going to come to India. Okay. The task is to find the possible number of ways. to make the n members sit in a circular manner which means let's suppose a b c okay these are the three presidents came to india what they told us we need to figure it out how many total number of ways are there we can arrange these three presidents i can arrange i have b c a i can have b a c i can have c a b so in this way how many possible number of ways are there to arrange these president we need to figure it out but also at the same time what they have mentioned is the president and the prime minister of india will always sit sit to next to each other which means suppose if this is a president of india and this is a prime minister of india they will always sit together it will never happen that the president will sit here and let's suppose here china's president is sitting here and then the prime minister of india is sitting over here no this will not possible always the president and the prime minister of india will always sit together so this is the meaning of the question now what we need to figure it out we need to figure it out how many possible number of ways are there what they will give us they will give us n that how many presidents are coming to india okay so i hope so you understood the meaning of the question now let's try to figure it out how we can try to uh, depict this problem to get the answer okay so what i will do is at the beginning let me take the small number for the explanation so let's suppose the number of presidents came to india are four okay now what i need to do is i have four places right because there are four members came to india and there is one condition which is that condition says that the president president and the prime minister of india they will always sit together they will always sit together it will never happen that the president is sitting here and the prime minister is sitting here and in between some other members are there no this will not be possible so let's try to figure it out how we can get the total number of ways now let's suppose one thing is for sure that the president and the prime minister will always sit together so i have kept them together what i did is i simply kept them together now see they are looking like a two different entities but what does the question says that they should sit together so what i did is i simply clubbed together into the single entity now remaining are three places right so let's suppose i have a i have b and i have c now just think just think in how many possible number of ways we can arrange this i can have a c b i can have b a c i can have b c a i can have c a b I can now C, B, A. So there are total total six possibilities are there, right? Total six possibilities are there. Then can I say that these six possibilities are nothing but three factorial? Can I say that this six is nothing but the three factorial? Yes. So I came to know that out of remaining remaining there are three factorial. How many total were there? Total were there four. So out of four, the there is three factorial. Now let's suppose how many ways are there to arrange our president and prime minister. Now let's suppose this is pre president and this is prime minister. So this is our one way. And which is the second way? I can have prime minister and I can president. Now just ask yourself: Is there any other way possible to arrange these two together? Of course, no. Right? There is no any other way that we can arrange president and prime minister together. So can I say that? Can I say that whenever we have given n, whenever we have given n. Let's suppose x. Out of this x, what I need to find is x minus one factorial because this is what we did. The value of n is four, and we simply figured out three factorial, which is nothing but n minus one factorial. We need to figure out how many ways are there to arrange these remaining people, and whatever the remaining two are there, I am going to simply multiply it by two because in order to arrange prime minister and president, we have only two ways. We have only two ways. Just now we proved over here, right? So that is our answer, right? that is our answer now let's suppose what i will do is i will simply take the value of n is equal to 4 so i have three factorial into 2 which is nothing but 6 into 2 which is 12 there are total number of 12 ways 
we can arrange these people and let's suppose i have n is equal to 5 then what will be my answer 4 factorial into 2 what is 4 factorial 24 into 2 which is nothing but 48 so there are total 48 ways are there in order to arrange five members in the round table conference now i hope so you understood the intuition and the approach to solve this problem now let's try to figure it out how we can solve this so what we have is we have n right so let's suppose we have the function in which we have given the value of n then what i will do is i'll simply have ways right which is initially equals to 1 and let's suppose int right the remaining is 2 for what this is for the president and the prime minister of india this is for president and the prime minister of india now what i will do is i know that uh, if i have given the n i have to have n minus 1 factorial n minus 1 factorial so this is what i will go and calculating so what i will do is i will simply have the int i which is initially equals to 1 and what i will do is while my i is less than equals to n minus 1 keep on doing keep on doing and what i will do is i'll simply have remaining into i and simply i will do i plus plus so what does this code will do this i will simply get the factorial of n minus 1 this is i will get let's suppose the value of i equals to 1 should be 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 so in this way it will go on calculating and you know that if i have figured out this 3 factorial the remaining is 2 right because we have to arrange president and the prime minister of india in order to arrange us we have only two ways so what i will do is answer is equal to this is my remaining factorial into the ways into the ways and simply i will print the answer simply i will print the answer so this is the small code which we can use to write this program right simply what we did is we have given n we simply calculated n minus 1 factorial and we may multiplied it by 2 let's suppose oh sorry one mistake instead of this one i will simply have it two and instead of this two i will have it as a one right because i need to have the one into two into three into four this is for n minus one factorial and simply i am going to multiply the ways into it because the ways are nothing but this is for president and prime minister now let's move on to the ide and try to check out how we can write the code for this now this is the java code i wrote see i'm not going to write this in every single language because writing every single language becomes difficult try to understand the logic and the intuition behind the problem rather than solving it what i did is i simply took the input that is value of n i have the total number of ways for this is for what this is for what this is for president and the prime minister of india because there are we know that there are only two ways to arrange them and for the remaining ways we simply calculated what n minus one factorial right so this is what we calculated and this is the index which we use and what we need to do is keep on going until n minus one so we calculated the factorial that is n minus one factorial and i simply multiplied it by two to my final answer right so i hope so you understood this problem really well just in case if you're new to our channel do subscribe the channel for more such informative videos till then see you in the next video